Hi, I'm Nick, the Awkward Yeti. Today I was going to talk a little bit about my writing process. And it's 4 a.m. right now, I've been up all night, so I thought, what a perfect time to show the reality of, of the job. I was a little bit quiet because my kids are asleep upstairs. So anyway, I have not been very productive lately. I'm kind of dealing with some personal things. And if you're a creative type, you know that if you're not creating, whether it's for yourself or for people, that's a very stressful thing. Like you have this thing inside that needs to come out. And that's kind of the burden of, of the creative type of person. Um, and then when it's your job, it's kind of an added pressure too. You have to get more, you have to get content out pretty regularly. I was going to bed pretty normal time and I had an idea for a comic and I started mapping it out in my head and I was picturing the characters and writing it out and I thought oh, okay well I'm having a little trouble sleeping so I got up and I've been working all night instead of sleeping uh, and and that's totally fine with me you know I'll already be up when the kids are ready to go do their zoom school and uh, I'll make them some french toast and I'll have already worked basically a full day and you know maybe I'll take a nap or something so a little bit about my writing process. Uh, my undergrad degree is in psychology, so you do see a lot of that kind of thing in my comics. I have this style, I think, where I like to look a little bit beyond behaviors to the point where behaviors are kind of just a silly, superficial thing. And really, we're trying to dig deeper and deeper into what makes us us, what makes us make those decisions. Why do we do it? And is it always a good decision? My cat knows I'm up. He's scratching at the door. Okay, got the cat. I kind of think there are two different ways to come up with inspiration for your creative work. One is to be methodical about it. Take the brain approach. And that one is brainstorming. You can draw brainstorming trees and, um, yeah, I know, I know. Good morning. You can th write down different topics and start combining things and, and, by doing that, you could eventually come to a conclusion with, and that's really useful if you must stay on a schedule. Like if you're a syndicated cartoonist, I'm sure you are being a little bit more methodical about how you come up with these. Or you can take the heart approach, which is when inspiration strikes, you go after it. So tonight I was being a little bit more heart. A lot of days I'm more brain. And, you know, they both work. And I think the heart tends to work pretty well because it's a little bit more real. So we'll see if this these comics that I, I made tonight end up resonating a little bit more with people. I'd be curious to see. All right. Hope you enjoyed another Creator Chronicles for Patreon. I'll have another one next week. And if you would like to support my ongoing projects like the Heart and Brain video game, go to patreon.com slash the Awkward Yeti. And I'm going to get some more coffee.